No barking. Damn squirrels. Hello fellow creatives and welcome to day three of my 30 days of Painted Elephants Project or SSS Veda vlog every day in August. Today I thought that I would show you the stack, the stack of unwanted, unloved canvases that I have right now in my studio at this particular size. So yesterday I referred to taking a painting that you don't love and covering over it. And as you can see, there's a lot here that I don't love, but I never, ever, ever, ever throw them away because I know someday I will go back over it. And so I have a closet full of blank canvases as well as all the unloved. Don't you just love having studio dogs? So I'm just gonna jump right in with my unloved painting. The one I have chosen is this little guy right here. I initially had this that had a frame on front and it was Valentine's Day and well, it just was never meant to be, I guess. So I absolutely love how yesterday's painting turned out. So I'm going to do it in a similar way today on a smaller scale with a different color scheme and just see what happens. So it's a nice little painting today, so this video won't take very long to do or to watch, so I hope you stay tuned and watch the creative process. good way through the painting and give you some dupes. One way to do really easy shading and like a very good uh, giving some depth and blending, I guess blending, is to use your finger. So I went in here with just black paint and with my smudging I got to create this really beautiful gray shadow. So <laughs> ditch the brushes and use your fingers sometimes. And another little tip um, while I'm at it is, um, as you recall from the beginning of this painting, it was black and white and red essentially. And now it's got a lot of orange hues, but you can see here that I, I've used a high flow acrylic paint. Now these bad boys are not cheap, but they are worth it. I buy them in the pack of like six that comes with multiple colors and it's about $70, I think. Um, but if you're not too wasteful with them, they can last a really long time. And what I love about these high flow acrylics, especially this color here, the quinacridone nickel azul gold, it is a beautiful way to change the color of your image without losing a lot of the background because it's very translucent, but it still adds this really beautiful warm color to the painting, but you can still see all of the beautiful stuff down there, but it's not boring and black and white and gray. So definitely recommend these high flow, uh, golden, golden high flow acrylics. Now, these are some of my favorite colors. So if you are going to buy them ad hoc, one at a time, they vary in price. They're not all the same. It all depends on the pigment. So for example, this quinacridone magenta, 
This is a pricey, pricey color, but it's absolutely beautiful. So is this one, this green gold. It is pricey as well, but it's almost empty. I use it a lot. It has the most amazing color. It's almost like goldy green, as it says, green gold. Fallow blue, this this is a really cool color to use when you're doing the water technique like I do. If you put a little bit of water or put a little paint and then drip the water, this one for whatever reason drips like, like beauty. It is so gorgeous. This one's really up there. This one blends really nicely with the water, but it is a very emerald green or you know, it's, it's quite bright. So if you like bright colors, then this is good. Um, but it's nice to add a little bit of brightness sometimes and sometimes I add it to my dark um, Payne's gray blue and it really brightens it up but gives it that really cool flow and Then this one's just really nice to have to just really warm something up this one and the nickel azul gold are really nice colors to warm things up um, This is Hansa yellow medium So there you go those are my favorite high flow acrylic colors. And of course, you always gotta have a high flow black and a high flow white. If you're doing the drippies like me, high flow white is essential. I typically use the, you know, 10 buck taller acrylic craft paint. Um, for highlights and things like that but if I but this stuff if you add water it just clumps and then disappears there's no pigment to it so you need the high flow white if you want to make white drippies and then the black is oh that's Payne's gray there's my black um, the black is great for if you want it to drip so again um, the good old plain old acrylic, it's not going to flow as well. So highly recommend getting yourself um, the high flow black and white as well. These are staples in my studio, as you can tell. I don't chintz out on the little bottles of these bad boys. I get them in the bigger bottles because I use them that much. Time to get back to painting.
glad that this one is done. And the weather is sad too. It just got like so dark and gloomy in the studio. You can see my omnipresent light here. Are you ready to see it? There he is. So I'm not sure if you could tell on the video, but this, my friends, is gold. And you can see that I've sprinkled it in here. He's got a beautiful golden eye. That is day three. If you've been watching all along, I hope you're enjoying yourselves and be sure to tune in tomorrow for day four of the 30 Days of Painted Elephants project or vlog every day in August. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel or check out the hashtag 30 Days of Painted Elephants on Instagram. I'll see you tomorrow.